The verse of the day is brought to you by versevisionaries.com. Welcome to another Bible study session where we delve deep into the Word of God. Today we're focusing on Romans 8 verse 29, a powerful verse that illuminates God's purpose for His children. Let's unpack its meaning and significance. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. This verse is a pivotal point in Paul's letter to the Romans, where he discusses the believer's identity in Christ and the transformative power of God's grace. God's foreknowledge and predestination. Let's break down the phrase, for whom he foreknew. This speaks to God's omniscience, His complete knowledge of all things, including His chosen ones. Before the foundation of the world, God knew His people intimately. This foreknowledge isn't merely intellectual awareness but speaks to a deep, personal relationship that God has with His children. The term predestined. This concept can be contentious but it's essential to understand it in the context of God's sovereignty and grace. God, in His infinite wisdom, has predetermined the destiny of His chosen ones. This predestination isn't arbitrary or based on merit but rooted in God's sovereign will. Conformed to the image of His Son. Let's explore the purpose behind God's foreknowledge and predestination. The verse tells us that those whom God foreknew, He predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son. Here lies the heart of God's plan for His children. Conformity to the likeness of Christ. This process of transformation is central to the Christian journey. As believers, we are called to reflect the character, attitudes, and actions of Jesus Christ in our lives. But why does God desire this conformity? The verse provides insight into this question. It states that Christ might be the firstborn among many brothers. Here we see the importance of Christ's preeminence. God's ultimate purpose is to bring many sons and daughters into his family with Christ as the preeminent elder brother. Through our conformity to Christ, we participate in God's redemptive plan and become part of His eternal family. Implications for Daily Living Now that we've examined the meaning of Romans 8.29, let's consider its implications. Understanding God's purpose for His children should profoundly impact how we live and relate to Him and others. Recognizing that we are chosen and predestined by God should humble us. It's not by our own merit or efforts that we are saved but by God's grace alone. This should cultivate a spirit of gratitude and worship in our hearts. The call to be conformed to the image of Christ challenges us to pursue holiness and spiritual growth actively. It's a lifelong journey marked by surrender, obedience, and reliance on the Holy Spirit. As we yield to God's transforming work in our lives, we become more like Christ in character and conduct. Understanding God's desire for us to be part of His family should fuel our passion for evangelism and discipleship. We are called to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others so that they can experience the joy of belonging to God's family. God's Purpose with Gratitude Romans 8.29 offers a profound glimpse into God's purpose for His children. It reminds us of God's sovereignty, grace, and redemptive plan. As we meditate on this verse and allow its truth to permeate our hearts, may we be encouraged to walk in obedience, pursue holiness, and share the love of Christ with the world around us. If you enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below.